And welcome back to Inside the Valley on this Sunday morning. Well, Cavalry Christian School is hosting their first, the inaugural Family 5K Fun Run and Walk. Talk a little bit more about it today on the show. We have Karen Seitzel and Tammy Johnson. Thank you, ladies, both so much for being here. Thank you for having us. So this is really exciting because this is the inaugural 5K yeah. Family Fun Run and Walk. But before we start talking about the event that you have coming up, let's first of all talk a little bit about Calvary Christian School and, and what the school is all about. Okay, Calvary Christian School is in Harlingen, Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, it house, is housed in Calvary Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. It's a Christian school, um, excellent academics, and it's been there since uh, 75, 1975. 1975, and that's from what, kindergarten all the way up to? Actually, it start, we have a daycare, Okay. and then we actually start classes at two. Wow, mm -hmm. okay, and then it goes all the way up to? All the way up through eighth grade. All the way up through eighth grade, fantastic. Mm -hmm. So what is it about uh, Calvary Christian School that's, that's really appealing for, for parents out there that maybe want to put their kids into your school? Teach us about Jesus Christ, how mm -hmm. we teach them the Bible, mm -hmm. and we learn each week, each uh, class has a Bible verse that they learn, mm -hmm. and we have Bible classes, and that makes us different than the public school. Absolutely. And we have an excellent uh, curriculum also. Yeah, I was going to ask you, um, you know, what is it that you focus on at, at your school? Is it primarily academics? Do you have sports as well or do you have a mix? We have both. We oh. have academics, of course, and then we have sports also. We have uh, other extracurricular activities. Where is it that where a student would go to maybe after, you know, they go to your school? What high school would they go to after that? Is there a high school that you gear the students to go towards or? Uh, various ones. Uh, Tammy is our middle school uh, administrator. Mm -hmm. She can tell you basically where they go. Yeah. Uh, it depends upon where the student live. If they live in Lyford, many times they'll go to school in Lyford. A lot of our students transition into the early college high school, a okay. lot into Cono, Freshman Academy. We have students from all over the valley. We have students from Brownsville. We have students who drive in from the island, wow. from the upper valley. We had one student in middle school this year that drove in from McAllen every year to attend our school. Her dad worked in her sure. so it was an easy a commute for her in that sense, but it just depends upon some of the science academy, med high, it depends upon what their interests are. Mm -hmm. Now is there a tuition fee uh, to go to, this, to your school? Yes, there is. Okay, and where can people find out a little bit more information or can they apply for maybe a, a scholarship? We do have scholarships okay. and our phone number is probably going to be shown. But yeah, we'll <laughs> pop it up here. And a also bit, yeah. our website mm -hmm. and they can come by the school, 1815 North 7th. Okay. It's very close to Harlingen High School. Not yeah. Harlingen High School South, but Harlingen High School. Okay. And how many scholarships would you uh, hand out a year, would you say? Mm -hmm. How many do we hand out? Oh, Tammy gosh. helps with the finance mm -hmm. also. There, there's, 20, there's 20 some odd students on scholarship this wow. year. That's excellent. Very, very mm -hmm. different, different amounts. Mm -hmm. and we never want finances to right. be an issue for someone to attend our school if that's the desire of their heart. And so we'll do what we can to find them some help financially. And I'm sure, you know, with Calvary Christian School, your teachers are very, you know, one-on-one. Um, -on -one. You know, they might have a class of 10, 15 students or maybe even a little bit more, but they're very one-on-one -on -one, and that kind of, I'm sure, would separate your school from a lot of other schools as well. So they're very hands-on with their students and really want to see the students succeed. Right. We have class size limits and mm -hmm. so that's important. That's very important, of course. Definitely small classrooms and very qualified teachers. Several mm -hmm. of our teachers have master's degrees and oh. we have a very low turnover of staff. This year we only have one new teacher on staff. Our, wow. our teachers have a tendency to stay and that tells you that we are very much a family environment. We know our families. Our families know one another. Mm -hmm. um, I came from a small town and it's a small town atmosphere. Yeah. Um, very, very warm and loving. Very place close to knit. Be a part and, of. Yeah, everyone kind of yes. helping everybody. And very welcoming. I've had students who've come in and, and parents have said, you know, oh my goodness, all the kids have really accepted someone new and and, and become friends with them. Yeah. So I'm always very proud of my middle school students Absolutely. in that sense. Middle school can be a very difficult time. And yes. The small mm -hmm. environment, I think our students have an opportunity to try lots of extracurricular activities and be involved. We have a National Junior Honor Society. Wow. Lots of different sports. Our, our kids compete against public school and basketball. I've done very well placed in tournaments. And Great. so we offer, we offer a lot to our students. Our, our staff, sees it as a ministry okay. when they come to teach there and then they fall in love with the school so yeah. let's well let's talk about this is exciting here this is the first annual 5k yes. family fun run and walk yeah. mm -hmm. um, let's talk a little bit about that when it's going to be where it's going to be it's going to be April the 8th mm -hmm. at it's going to begin at 7 30 and you're to meet in the parking lot at Calvary Baptist Church okay and is there a little cost for people to get involved it's 25 30 if you come that day and want to be in it you can still be in it but it's 25 right now is that per person 
It's per person. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where are the funds uh, that are going to be going? Funds will go to our scholarship. Oh. And our scholarship fund is set up for students that want to come to Calvary Christian School, but it's a little difficult financially. Sure. And so we have a scholarship fund set up just for that. And now this is, as I mentioned, it's going to be a family 5K fun run and walk. So you're encouraging anybody to come on out there. Oh, yes. Now, I know a lot of people like to either run or walk with their pets. Are you encouraging pets to come out too? Or is, is that okay? Oh, yeah. Well, we, sure. Know. Why not? Sure, right? why not? We hadn't even thought about that, but sure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We're excited. We're going to have mm. uh, Dale Lamar, who's the band director, and Mercedes is bringing his high school drum line out. Wow. We're going to have a big balloon arch for everybody to run through the streets. The, the police are involved. We'll have safety, everything. We'll have water stations. Lots of lots of wonderful people supporting the events. We have some beautiful medals. So, you oh, know, yeah. you run, you've got a medal to hang up, and it is a very nice, quality, wonderful looking uh, medal. Mm -hmm. well, we um, have lots of sponsors. Lots of sponsors yeah. this year. We have three gold sponsors. We have Tropical Patios, First Community Bank, and Dr. and Mrs. Sanusi are our gold sponsors, but lots of other sponsors. A lot of people have donated things for goodie bags that everyone will get that's run the race. And mm -hmm. the top five male finishers and top five female finishers will also receive a trophy. So oh. Fantastic. Lots of opportunity uh, for And reward. Mrs. Johnson will be running. I'll, I'll be, be walking. Running. <laughs> hey, well, that's great. You're getting that's involved. Right. Any of my students who cross the finish line before me is getting a homework free pass. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and if they cross in front of our math teacher, they're getting five points on a test. So a little incentive for our students that's to be great. involved as well. Well, that's hopefully right. they're all watching right now and they'll all be out there. Hey, I want to thank you ladies both so much for being on the show on this thank Sunday you. morning. And folks, we post a little bit more information on your screen there. Go to www.calvaryharlingen.org or you can call this number 956-425-1882. Tammy and Karen, Thank you so much Thank for being you. here on this Thank Sunday morning. Really appreciate us. it. Thank you. And folks, don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're going to be talking to the folks from HEB about how they're getting involved with our very special event on April 2nd at the McAllen Convention Center. We're also going to be talking to them about the quest for Texas Best Competition. Don't go anywhere.